Hello, I am Matteo Piavella. This video of the month is titled Single Pass 4 Through Pupilloplasty. For the majority of cataract surgeon, iris defect management is not yet considered an opportunity to improve quality of vision and patient satisfaction. Pupilloplasty is difficult to perform and needed to be based on wide clinical experience and the right knowledge related all the single surgical steps that are not intuitive. So, a specific video learning session is mandatory. Single pass for through pupilloplastic is a real improvement of iris defects management with positive effect of restoring the anatomy of the eye and to improve outflow to decrease IOP. The Athena Agarbal video has to be watched with great attention. There are a lot of things to learn. I hope you enjoy the video. None of the producers have any financial interest in the products or procedures shown. Ten days ago, Ray was acquitted in a shocking murder that he committed. How then did he get away? Present day, Molokini Bar. I planned to take my AX-50 rifle to take the life of my wife, but by mistake, shot the wrong person. How did you get away? Police, on further digging, found the cause of death to be glare. Glare? What? How? Who? When? Hang on, hang on. Let me explain. I had cataract surgery done a year back, and since then, I've been experiencing a load of glare. Is it cataract surgery supposed to treat vision problems? Anyway, who did the surgery? Surgery was done by a lazy old chap. He calls himself Dr. Vin. How did you get away? He did my cataract surgery all right, but forgot doing my pupilloplasty. I don't get it. How did you get away? Well, I then just told the inspector, had he done my pupilloplasty, I'd have shot the right person. The cops? The court all bought my story. Poor chap, Dr. Vin got sentenced for not doing my pupilloplasty. All in all, no pupilloplasty means jail everlasting. There have been great innovations in the past with regard to pupilloplasty, mechanal, seepsas, circlage, and now we introduce an easy and novel approach called single pass four throw pupilloplasty, SFT. Let's understand how this procedure is performed. Let's mark the iris before we begin. To any iris defect, there is a proximal iris where you enter and a distal iris where you exit. Step one, make a stab incision on one side of the iris defect. This can be the distal incision. Step two, a 10-0 proline suture is passed from the opposite side. This can be the proximal incision through the proximal iris and left in situ. Step 3. A 26 gauge needle is then passed through the distal iris. Step 4. The needle of the 10-0 proline is passed into the lumen of the 26 gauge needle and railroaded to the distal incision and pulled through to the suture end. It's now important to understand the suture trail as it traverses the iris. The trail consists of five parts. Part 1. External to the proximal incision. Part 2. Proximal incision to the proximal iris. Part 3. Proximal iris to the distal iris. Part 4. Distal iris to the distal incision. Part 5. External to the distal incision. A loop of suture as depicted is taken from the part 2 of the suture, pulled out through the distal incision and made to lie on the conjunctiva. The part 5 of the suture is now cut and the cut end is thrown into the loop of part 2 four times, hence showcasing the fourth throw of this pupilloplasty. Now, to tie the iris defect together, we take part 1 and part 5 of the suture pass and pull them away from each other externally. This pull brings about a helical pattern to the fourth row knot. Now, as the knot approaches the iris defect intracamerally, it brings the two sides of the iris defect closer. 
Finally, when the helix of the knot comes in contact with both the proximal and distal iris, intertwines it all together to complete the knot. Now a micro scissor is taken and the suture cut close to the knot, thereby completing the single pass fourth row pupilloplasty. Indications of SFT in appositional closed angle glaucoma, in Uretz Zavelia syndrome, in pupil reconstruction, in endothelial keratoplasty, in intrascleral haptic fixation. Effects of SFT Lowering intraocular pressure. SFT lowers intraocular pressure. Reports in the past of reduction in intraocular pressure from breakage of pre-existing peripheral anterior synechiae have been documented. In cases such as appositional angle closure glaucoma, Uretz Zavelia syndrome, SFT pulls the iris tissue closer to the center of the pupil, allowing the aqueous to flow freely through the meshwork, thereby breaking the pre-existing peripheral anterior synechiae and opening up the angle, as shown in this before and after intraoperative gonioscopic view of the angle. SFT has shown to reduce the intraocular pressure in this nine-month study of closed-angle glaucoma and Uretz Zavelia syndrome. Laser peripheral iridotomy is a treatment of choice in case with primary angle closure glaucoma associated with pupillary block. However, often the formation of peripheral anterior synechiae continues even after a successful laser peripheral iridotomy. Performing an SFT has shown to have a dramatic change in these cases. The nomogram used in cases with more than 270 degree synechiae, we recommend performing a six point traction. In cases with less than 270 degree synechiae, a four point traction suffices. SFT compartmentalizes the eye. In compartmentalizing the eye, SFT separates the anterior and posterior compartment. SFT helps in endothelial keratoplasty. By preventing the air injected from escaping into the vitreous cavity and also forms a diaphragm that helps thrust the air bubble towards the graft, ensuring graft attachment. SFT also helps in intrascleral haptic fixation. By preventing an optic capture, it acts as a mechanical barrier to the optic edge and thereby reducing the tilt change in the shape of the pupil. SFT changes the shape of the pupil. In cases such as traumatic mydriasis, iatrogenically caused large pupil, and congenital conditions, SFT has a profound impact on quality of vision. It reduces glare, halos, improves the sharpness of vision, eliminating diplopia, reduces photophobia, creating a pinhole effect to vision. Advantages as a pupilloplasty technique. The number of times a surgeon enters the eye is inversely proportional to the ease of doing a pupilloplasty procedure. A surgeon becomes more efficient by performing more numbers of sutures than passes, closing the iris defect faster. SFT allows the pupil to dilate postoperatively. The amount of dilatation is inversely proportional to the iris manipulation, which seems to be the least in this procedure the knot forms a helical pattern that lies flat along the iris plane and doesn't bulk up like in other procedures. This prevents rubbing of endothelium in endothelial keratoplasty. All in all, SFT is a great procedure and a must-know, must-have in your surgical armamentarium owing to reduced number of passes, ease of suture tying, reduced iris manipulation, increased dilatation post-surgery, and improved repeatability.